I can't believe it's here. I have waited for this computer for like at least 10 years. I'm sure it's fine. So the System76 Thelio Mira. It is a really cool computer. System76, for those who are unaware, is a computer manufacturer that is uh, based in Colorado, and they make machines that are built around using Linux. These computers are very customizable, and their website is incredible. Seriously, go to system76.com, price out a machine, and just look at the kind of ways that you can go through and customize a machine. I promise you, it is probably the best website in the computer game. This machine I customized with an i7-13... 13, 13,700. How do you say that with an i7 nowadays? 13,700. So an i7-13700, which has 16 cores and 24 threads. 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. This also has an M.2 SSD for the operating system. It is a 500 gig. When I open programs on this machine, it's like they were already open and I'm just unminimizing them. So System76 does make the case in-house. They make some different components in-house, like some specialized things that they've even got their own firmware for. We'll get more into that in a second when we open this baby up but they do use a lot of other components from other manufacturers, such as the power supply is EVGA. The motherboard is from Gigabyte. With the fact that they're not making their own motherboards in-house, RAM and things like that, like Dell or HP do, they are picking very good components to put in these things. You're not getting some kind of like just quick off the shelf motherboard or something like that. They went through and made very intentional decisions to choose the hardware that they did. And I greatly appreciate that. So the Thelio Mira is a in-house built case, like I said, and that's one of the things that makes this, makes this so unique. One of the things, of course, that stands out really fast is this strip on the front. They used to have wood that came from the front all the way around to the side, but they then just went ahead and changed it up about a year ago to having just this strip. So this strip is actually removable and you can change it out for different accents. And so you kind of get to customize the machine off the get-go to make it your own. I like that a lot. This power button is also really nice, just a nice, it, it's a very satisfying feeling to, to press. On the side here, it's really cool also. I believe this is supposed to be the Colorado Mountains. Um, and on the side, of course, it says Thilio. Now on the back is also where it's very interesting. You can see here, they've got on the exhaust port planets. It's really cool. The, the System 76 theme is kind of built around planets and things like that, the rocket ships, which you can also see right here in the expansion slot covers where they've got these little rockets, you know, etched into them, which is really, really cool. The other thing that's kind of nice is you this is uh, really easy to open up there's no real screws besides these two all you got to do is loosen these up this slides back just a little bit and then you can pull your mother uh, your GPU or whatever else you're gonna be putting into the expansion slots in or out really simple the other thing is this does have uh, 2.5 G uh, networking on the motherboard so that's really nice to see and Wi-Fi 6e so very fast Wi-Fi and bring it around to this side we also have another exhaust port which again the planet theme is staying right there really cool to see that so let's open this baby up. It is a lot of screws. <laughs> it, it really is. This is a lot of screws. They are thumb screws, but they're, they do even put blue Loctite on here. And so they do stick, or at least from the factory, they stuck in really well. And I tightened them up a good bit when I put it in here. Um, so yeah, that is a lot of screws in the back of this thing. They don't want you to open this up accidentally. And I guarantee you, you're not gonna open it up accidentally. All right, and to take it off, we just lift straight up. And there we go. So from the back, it's very evident they have got great cable management. So let's turn this thing around. Boom, so there is Filio Mira on the inside. A very uh, well laid out machine. So quick little note, after we filmed this, System76 actually released a bit of a refresh to the Thaleo Mira, which included more airflow uh, inducting, which seems like it's kind of nice, uh, but they did remove two SSD slots. Other than those changes though, Thaleo is pretty much, from what I can tell, unchanged from what we're reviewing here. So the rest still applies. Something that's really cool for expansion, you do have these screws up here at the top in this special little rack. So it shows you just who's making this computer as well. Like this is made by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. They even gave you extra screws to put things in. Okay, so we have these two uh, brackets right here as well, making it very rigid. I mean, this is a sturdy case. Here's where we get into some of the System76 specific hardware that they actually make in house. So this little plate, very cool. System 76 logo right on there. Uh, can you see that well, Jack? This is where you can actually slide in 
some SATA drives, some 2.5 inch SATA drives and get some extra storage in there. There's four different bays. So the amount of expansion that you're gonna have here is just gonna be insane. I mean, imagine filling this up with like four, four terabyte SSDs, 16 terabytes of storage in this machine. That's a lot of storage. I mean, that'd be amazing to have. The other thing that's really cool is, like I said, we've got this knock to a fan right there and this, this shroud. We're not gonna really take off this shroud, but this shroud is going right over the cooler and we've got a fan at the exhaust back here. And I think this is another, yeah, that's another be quiet fan at the exhaust. And then we've got this Noctua in the front. And so it's got a really clear path for all of that air to pass over the cooler. And it's really good for controlling those thermals. Now this NVIDIA, RTX 3060, I actually brought. I did not buy it in the machine. So it is a very, very nice case. There is one big con though about this case that I'm not a huge fan of. It does not mind receiving fingerprints. It does leave a lot of fingerprints and it's kind of hard to clean up. You can't just use a paper towel or something like that to clean it up. You probably actually need to get some solution of some kind and, and try to clean it off. So that's a little bit frustrating, but hey, something I'll live with. This machine is incredible. So when I got it in the box, like I said, I brought the GPU. So this next part is my fault. First boot up, it goes into some text on screen and everything, and it does basically nothing. I do see in a lot of the text, it says Nouveau, 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 and that is the Nouveau drivers for the NVIDIA graphics card. Because I did not buy this with an NVIDIA graphics card, I'm guessing they did not load any kind of NVIDIA drivers on it. And so it did not want to boot up properly the first time. Having known that, I should have booted it up for the first time without the NVIDIA graphics card, and then stuck it in there after I had done at least the first boot and then done the driver install and stuff like that. After figuring that out, I just plugged the display port into the motherboard itself and booted it up that way. And then I installed the NVIDIA drivers, which was super easy. We'll get into that in a second. And I was off to the races. It was running great after that. So let's actually boot this thing up. So here we are with Athelio Mira booted up. And we of course got our System76 launch heavy keyboard that we reviewed back in an earlier video. Check that out for sure. It's an amazing keyboard with a lot of great functions. Fresh install of Pop! OS. And this is the same install that came on the computer. Like I said, this computer, you just turn it on, boot it up, and you're inside of System76 and you just get going. It's amazing. So I've customized the background here, of course. Um, but I've also installed all my apps and I'm, I'm using Flatpaks, which Pop! OS uh, does support natively. So pretty much all the applications I install are indeed Flatpaks. This is going to, of course, be a little bit of just getting to know Pop! OS a little bit. Uh, if we hit the super key, it brings up the search function. And so like when we were doing our keyboard configurator, you can just type in System76 keyboard configurator, type in the password and we've got the application open. The cool thing about this is it's very quick. So we're able to go like say only office and Boom, we're inside of Only Office. Now you notice, I have not opened up Only Office since I booted up this computer, and that was freaking fast. Let's, uh, let's go into our About settings, about this system. And so we do indeed have the 13th uh, Gen uh, 13700K. So this is a 24 core, uh, uh, well, an effective 24 core machine. It does have 16 physical cores. Uh, our disk capacity is 500 gigabytes and I do have an RTX 3060 and we've got 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. So Pop! OS is currently running at this point GNOME 42. They are working on their own cosmic desktop environment, but right now it is running GNOME 42. So it's a relatively recent version of GNOME. So the machine that this was replacing for me was one that I built about seven years ago, and it had an i7-6800K, which was a six core, which at the time was pretty unheard of. About six, seven years ago, it was, it was rare to have something above a quad core. So for me to have a six core, I was baller. But this thing has 16 cores, so 10 extra cores. What does that performance actually mean? Well, I can tell you this, handbrake encoding is way faster. Like on my old machine, I was looking at probably 20 to 25 FPS uh, of an encode to MP4, like going from MOV to MP4. Now it's at like 60 to 70 FPS. And that is amazing to have, especially being a video professional. The other thing is like you saw, opening up only office was super quick, right? Now I haven't opened up GIMP, so let's go ahead and open up GIMP. Boom, <laughs> that, is, that is ridiculously fast. I've, I've only had this machine for a few days now and I've used it like for about three full days, like using it and it's still just mind boggling. I have not opened up GIMP yet and it just boom, was there. It is so freaking fast. Now I know that's M.2 SSDs and I was on a SATA SSD before this. That's just the difference. That's not necessarily the Thelio itself. This is something that is in Pop! OS 
only when you buy one of their machines. And this is pretty cool. This support tab inside of settings actually lets you submit a support ticket, create log files, uh, and go straight to the communi community and their documentation and everything right from within the settings of your computer. And that's not in the standard version of Pop! OS, and so cool to have that kind of support right here on the machine. Something else that is very unique to System76's Pop! OS is Pop Shop. So let's open that up right now. Now, I don't have an internet connection, even though this does have Wi-Fi 6E, I just didn't feel like connecting it to Jack's Wi-Fi. So we've got all of these different applications that are right here in one-click installs. You know, we can get Flameshot, we can get Signal, we can get a teleprompter app, uh, and then they've got all the different categories right here and it's very well laid out. But here's what's really cool. If we go to installed, we can see the NVIDIA drivers right here. When I bought this machine, I stuck in my NVIDIA 3060 and it just saw that it was an NVIDIA. I go into the installed section on Pop! OS and there's a one-click install. I click that button, about three, five minutes later, I have the uh, NVIDIA driver installed with a single click. I didn't have to go download anything from the internet. I didn't have to go to a command line, nothing. Windows for sure isn't that fast when it comes to just installing the NVIDIA drivers. You're never gonna install NVIDIA drivers faster. So as I mentioned, my old machine had a 6800K i7. This one has a 13700K. I had the same GPU, RTX 3060, inside of my old computer with an ASUS motherboard, and it was running with PCI 3.0. This one has PCIe 4.0. And with DaVinci Resolve, I had projects that were rendering at uh, uh, two minutes and six seconds. Well, funny enough, right as I uh, upgrade to this machine, I open up the same project, do a render. I'm at like a minute 24 with the same GPU. And if you know anything about DaVinci Resolve, it is very GPU dependent. So the fact that it's the same GPU just in this new machine rendering that much faster is amazing. And that was a pretty short project. So having these longer and larger projects with more visual effects and stuff like that, Unlocking the full potential of that GPU inside of the Stelio Mira is going to be amazing to have. So we're really not gonna go any more into the specifics of Pop! OS, because we're here to talk about the Thelio Mira on the hardware side, but the software is a really cool aspect of it. So on a scale of one to 10, what would I rate this machine? On the very lowest, I would rate it an eight out of 10. I would really like to go up to a nine. You know what, tell you what, it's a nine out of 10. Honestly, because the only thing I can say about this machine is pretty much the fingerprints on the case. It's just that kind of material that likes to get the fingerprints. But it has been very fast. It's honestly pretty reasonably priced for what you're getting. It's a very premium feeling product. Their implementation of their own operating system, Pop! OS, on this machine just feels so solid. When you buy this computer, it's like you're buying from Dell. It's like you're buying from Apple. It's like you're buying from anybody who has a pre-installed operating system. And right here, it's Linux. And it's amazing. It's quick. So System76, well done on the Thelio Mira. It is an incredible machine, a really premium product. Thank you so much for choosing actual premium products to put inside of these machines instead of just crapping out on it. I know I've said that a bit, but it's just like they could have done that and they didn't. So I bought this all myself. This is all my money that went into this machine. They have not sponsored, although they could, uh, they have not sponsored this video at all. Uh, and it's just all my opinion. And I think it's amazing. So I would highly recommend that if you're in the market for a new PC, you check out the Thelio Mira. It's incredible. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for watching No Plan. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for future videos to come. Thank you very much and I'll catch you next time. That's the thing, this is very Apple-esque on the inside. The sturdiness of this, it's like you're getting Apple hardware in a PC. As much as I hate Apple, they got really good hardware. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who's gonna be the person who makes a third chip? Is Apple.